All right, as the new daily COVID cases continue to fall, optimism abounds. However, some data watchers are concerned about a trend they're seeing in our nation's sewers. Yeah, Dr. Frank McGeorge here with that connection and whether there's a similar concern in Michigan, Doc. Yeah, Kim and Jason. So, you know, COVID, of course, is primarily spread through the air, but infected people also excrete virus when they use the bathroom. And by testing sewage going to water treatment plants, it's actually possible to get an idea of how much virus is being shed. More virus in wastewater means more infected people, even before cases increase. Could we end up seeing another rise in COVID-19 cases? That's the concern. With more and more sewage systems in the U.S. detecting increased levels of coronavirus recently, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says nearly 40% of wastewater sampling sites reported at least some level of increase over the past 15 days. That's more than twice what it was a month ago when the Omicron wave was receding. Now, to be clear, wastewater data cannot precisely estimate the number of cases in a community, but monitoring this kind of data can serve as an early warning sign of increased transmission, often detecting increasing infection days before positive case counts. Now, here in Michigan, there are over 400 wastewater testing sites scattered across the entire state. However, attention is really focused on 20 sewer shed sites in 18 counties in the city of Detroit. Together, these make up the SWEEP, or Sentinel Wastewater Epidemiology Evaluation Project. Now, you can see that the trend in the 15 days generally preceding March 3rd showed a decrease in 12 of the 20 testing sites. However, in the metro Detroit area, particularly the Great Lakes Water Authority, Detroit River, Oakland and Macomb County, and Wayne County sites, the 15-day trend is flat, not decreasing. Now, of course, this doesn't mean that we're headed for another wave of infections necessarily, but it does. It is actually another important data point that's worth following, especially now that we're relaxing COVID precautions at the same time that new case reporting might fall with more people doing at home tests. Frank, by the way, how long do infected people continue to shed virus when they actually do use the restroom? So shedding in stool can actually continue in some cases for 20 to 30 days after someone is no longer contagious. And that's really an important point when you interpret this data. While increases are really a leading indicator before new cases increase, when we're coming off a spike, kind of like we just have, we would actually expect a lag in wastewater decreases. And that actually could be what's happening as well in Southeast Michigan. All right, good to know, Doc. We appreciate it. Everyone else, you can now commence with dinner. Kim?